guess it, it offers something that is hard to get in a classroom, certainly. You know, I've studied engineering at Pomona a little bit, but, you know, was in the wood shop every once in a while, but, you know, really, I wasn't, like, learning so much how to build things. I was learning how to follow a set of plans and how to execute, um, how to realize something that was already designed for me. And so I wanted not only the freedom in the studio, but the freedom in the wood shop and everywhere in between to develop a sense of design, develop a sense of build, and develop a sense of how they both come together. And so I think what we've tried to do with this program is to bridge that liberal arts um, base and that sort of very technical, practical hands-on base and try to create a marriage that doesn't really exist um, in education right now. Even at universities where they do give students the opportunities to actually build, there are so many constraints and it's not just about safety. It's about, you know, fitting that opportunity with all the other classes they have to take or having to do it within sort of the bureaucracy of those institutions. And I think Yestermar being sort of remote and at the same time immersive allows students to just forget everything else and be totally on task. I think right now it's just a really big movement and it's a big movement in sustainability and in learning how to live within your means rather than outside of your means and just kind of narrowing down what you need and what you don't need and living more sustainably and living within a tighter unit. I feel like it's the perfect opportunity to get um, architecture students um, familiar with all of the different processes that go into building a, a real building but at a very small scale so you have like you know, plumbing and electrical and you're framing the thing and siding it and you learn about roofing and yet it's all in a 227 square foot little vessel. Well, I think coming from a, a background in architecture, uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty unique opportunity for architecture students to really experience sort of like uh, the realities of the building process and to be able to, to sort of make that communication or that, that connection between um, what we design and how we make things and, and to have the experience of, of allowing the, you know, a design and the build, the construction uh, and the design process to inform each other is sort of invaluable. So now all of the students have been through every stage that it would take for them to design and build a real large scale building. The instructor team and also the students were just really pleased with the outcome and also the process itself. I think everybody left last semester believing that they had spent their time well, so I certainly did.